Narcissists have the idea that the world owes them. They regard themselves as smart, successful, and powerful, but in actual fact, they can be self-obsessed, inconsiderate, rude, and arrogant. If you have a narcissist in your life, these are 10 of the things you might encounter that narcissists believe you owe them. Keep watching until number one. You won't believe how eerie it is. Number 10. Your attention. They want your undivided attention, and they will make sure you are aware of that. Because of their self-importance, they think it's obvious that they should be the center of attention. Anything or anybody else is obviously less important, so why would you spend your time on such lesser beings or things? You might be sitting in your favorite chair, enjoying a cup of tea and reading a book, and the narcissist will insist that you put the book down because they want to talk to you. They won't ask you to do it, but rather order you, because they feel that you owe them your attention. Let's say you've been planning to see a show. You've made a booking and have been looking forward to going. They don't care. When they want your attention, they expect you to cancel everything else and spend time with them. They can become jealous if their partner's attention is divided. Number 9. Your time. Since they're more important than you, their time is also more important than yours. They will make an appointment, leave you waiting, not show up, and think it's completely fine. If you have a narcissist friend, they might tell you that they will come by on a specific day, but not make an appointment for a specific time. If you happen to be busy when they arrive, they'll get annoyed, because they expect you to put your entire day aside and be ready whenever they show up. All your hobbies and interests, or anything else that might take up your time, can become a target for the narcissist, because your time belongs to them, and they will insist on having the final say on how you spend it. Your plans are less important than theirs, and they will expect you to give them up for them. They won't be able to understand that you have your own ideas about how you'd like to spend your time. It's so obvious to them that they should be deciding that. Number 8. Your feelings of guilt. They want you to feel guilty about things you never even considered doing. It's part of destroying your confidence and self-esteem, and this is what they want to achieve. The less you believe in your own ability to handle things, the more you might start needing them. That dependence is what they're looking for. It will give them control over your life, making you feel guilty because you didn't spend enough time with them or didn't follow any of their orders to the letter is just part of the process that they use to gain complete control over their partner. Narcissists are master manipulators, and guilt is one of the tools that they use. They cannot handle criticism themselves, but are quite happy to criticize others, including those close to them. When they belittle and devalue other people, it is a way to increase their own feelings of superiority. Number 7. Your Gratitude When you meet them, they can be so nice and caring that you might think they're the loveliest person you've ever met. But this will not last. In no time, their true colors will show. They will treat you any way they like, and often be unkind because they are so totally focused on their own needs. Now and again, you might see their nice side again. From their perspective, they are doing you a favor when they're being kind. They want you to believe that nobody else will treat you better than they do, that they're only looking out for you. Therefore, you owe them. Number 6. A Patient Ear They often have a lot to complain about. According to how they see the world, there's a lot in life that isn't right or isn't going according to their plans. They have very specific ideas about how things should fall into place for them. So when things inevitably don't go their way, they want their partner to patiently listen to their stories. It's not a two-way street, though. They're not interested in listening to their partner's problems or ideas. They just don't care enough about the other person to invest their valuable time like this. They want to be the one who's talking and complaining, and their partner to be the one who's listening. This also links to their self-importance. Since they're so smart, talented, and well-informed, they feel that this not only gives them the right to spend a lot of time talking about all their ideas and thoughts, but that they have a duty to. Because of their superior knowledge and intellect, they feel that they should share them with the world, and that the planet would be a poorer place without all the clever things that they have to say. Enjoying the video so far? Then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more insightful psychology videos like this one, you'll only get smarter, and it's free. Number 5. To hold you responsible for whatever they're doing wrong. They don't take responsibility for their own actions. They prefer instead to find someone else to blame. If you regularly interact with a narcissist or are in a relationship with one, you might be the one they pick. Whatever went wrong can't possibly be because of their actions, since they're perfect, so everything's your fault. 
and there's no arguing with the narcissist about it. They won't understand or change their ways. They can't see wrongdoing on their part. They can be very entitled and arrogant, incapable of seeing their own mistakes and flaws. Number 4. Your Companionship They want to have unlimited access to your company whenever they feel like it. If that means isolating you from other people, they will easily do that. They don't care if you miss your friends or family members. The narcissist has such a sense of self-importance that they feel that if you have them, you don't need anybody else. They don't care about the fact that whenever they're not around, you'll spend the rest of your time alone and away from those who care about you. That's not their concern. They believe that they're the most important person that you could possibly have in your life and that you should count yourself lucky to have them around. Number three, your kindness and caring. They feel that you have to be understanding, regardless of how they treat you. You always have to be kind and able to see their point of view. Your own needs disappear into the background because all your love and attention must be focused on them. They don't understand that you have your own feelings and opinions and might not agree with them, or that you would also like to be treated with kindness in return. They don't see how hurtful their words and actions might be towards you. The narcissist feels you should be thankful for their attention when they give it, and you should respond by always being kind. Number two, your freedom. If it's up to the narcissist, you won't get to make any decisions. Instead, they will be in control, and you will just be following orders. They will tell you what you should and should not wear, the style, the color, and the outfits that they want to see you in. They will decide who you can spend time with, what you can do, and where you can go. The narcissist will expect you to give up your freedom and surrender to their wishes in all aspects of your life. They want complete control and dependence because that feeds their ego and acts as confirmation of how important they are. Losing control is something they fear because it will threaten everything they stand for. Number one, yourself. They will treat you like they own you. It sounds terrible, but it's true. They feel you belong to them and they can do anything and treat you however they like. That means it doesn't really matter if they treat you badly, since in their mind, you're a possession and they can do with you whatever they want to. The narcissist feels that they are the center of the world and people close to them become extensions of themselves. They know best and therefore they should be in control. And if you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more. And make sure to like this video to let the algorithm know you'd like to see more videos like these.